Mm. You also mentioned being up to date with changes, right? This is something that I, a lot of people struggle with. Because software is changing all the time. Like Swift, there's new versions every year. And then exactly. <laughs> new, uh, iOS versions, and they bring new features and new frameworks. There is a vision framework. There is AR kit and all those things. And it's hard to, to focus as well. Not just at work, but like trying to focus as your career. Where should I put my energy? In? Like, what's going to be good in the next five years? Like, yeah, it's hard to to find the um, the right thing to to follow. Yes. Yeah. So, my recommendation is about like being up to date with features and frameworks. Is that you don't need to learn everything that is new, but it's important that you have an overview. Of what's mm, new exactly right and having an overview of what's out there is not that hard there's a bunch of sources for it for example wwdc you know when there's wwdc every year make a list of the videos i usually share my list of videos in the community of the videos i'm interested in and i watch them at like 2x you know i speed up the video to mm -hmm. 2.5x so you have an overview of what's new because most of those features i will not use so I don't want to waste a lot of time like mastering everything that is in there. I will use only what I need, but I want to have an overview of what's new. So I know that new feature exists, that there are new frameworks in the platform. So I can only, I can use them when I need them. When I'm dealing with a problem, then I was like, oh yeah, I know that there's a framework that can help me with that. Now I will study the framework more in depth. Okay. But until you, I have that actually need. I have only an overview of what's new. So I'm always up to date with what's new in the platform. But doesn't mean I know exactly how it works. OK, exactly. Because it's exactly. just too much. It's impossible. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You know, even if you work at Apple, you will, you have no idea about some other frameworks. You know, like it's just too much. They're working into many things. Mm. It's right. OK. So to stay up to date, watch WWDC to have an overview of what's there. right? And also being active in the community. For example, we have mentoring sessions about some obscure frameworks, like Vision Framework, that you don't use every day, probably. And we also have mentoring sessions about async await that maybe you're not using at work yet because you need to support old iOS versions. I saw a lot of uh, monitoring session and other stuff, but I'm always um, uh, like uh, I miss uh, I miss the the sort um, I f I forgot uh, I forgot some aspect of of the thing and I I just don't use it um, after that. Right, so this is one way to stay in the community to be up to date as well. Yeah. Okay, because okay. there will be mentoring sessions and Q&A sessions there with hundreds of students. So these students might be doing, dealing with a challenge that you never faced at work. But by watching that Q&A or the mentoring session, now you are exposed to a challenge you haven't seen before. Exactly. Right? And you learn new techniques. Mm -hmm. And you see like techniques that are dealing with large data sets on core data that we mentioned today. There is a mentoring session about that. All right, so when you face that problem, you know that there's a mentoring session about it, and you can go more in depth about it. Exactly. But it keeps you aware of things. Doesn't mean you know everything, you mastered everything, but you are aware of things. Yeah. And when you need them, you can study more in depth. Exactly. So be active there in the community as well. Also, like there's so many questions every day <laughs> on Slack. You will see that it is just like having on a glimpse, you know, overview of what's going on there. You already absorb so many things. Yes, but it's the case. Uh, I look every day on Slack, but it's every day too much. Every day <laughs> is a, it's a... yeah. But you don't need to know everything, right? Just have an overview, because most of the things there are not challenges you're facing. They are challenges that other students are facing, mm. right? And if you have a specific challenge, you can post there as well. And some other student will learn from your challenge as well. 
and you can use this search. When there's something specific to what you need, then you use the search and you actually spend yeah. the time. But you don't need to try to absorb everything because it's too much, you know, like learning every framework on Apple, like 10 years, 20 years probably. But after yeah. 20 years, there will be a hundred new frameworks. So you will never catch up. Mm. <laughs> it's up to, to, to be right with that, but uh, it's okay. You don't need to know everything. Yeah. That's important to understand because if I feel that if we don't understand that, then it creates this fear of missing out, you know, especially yes. with everything that happens in the social media space, you know, like, oh, this is the, the new API here. I, I made this with this new API and, you know, it consumes us. So mm. yeah, it's, it's important to understand like focus is number one. I understand that I need to focus and yeah, like if I have some spare time, I'm going to see advancements in AR kit or whatever it mm. is that seems cool, but I never used in my work. Uh, you know, the company that I work for doesn't don't care about that. Okay. Yeah.